something's happening. Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're going to be testing out a, a one of these Chinese diesel heaters. Uh, this is actually designed for what looks like a, a truck or a bus or a vehicle of some sort to be mounted on a floor and then you can feed the you know exhaust uh, and intake pipes out uh, out of the living space or, or whatever you want to call it and then you uh, feed the heating duct into the uh, the living space. So it could be used in in tents or campers or uh, even off-road vehicles or something like that you want to stay overnight in or have a heat source you know travel vans or adventure vans those kinds of things i've got it kind of temporarily hooked up here uh we're gonna it's it's running behind me it's doing something and uh, i fired it up and so we're gonna see what happens with this thing maybe it'll catch on fire or maybe it's gonna be something awesome we can use around here for lots of little spaces we need to heat throughout the winter so let's check it out So basically this thing has a little air intake on the bottom and then it has an exhaust port on the uh, on the bottom and so I just have it snaked uh, out around here and this I guess is a muffler <laughs> it doesn't look like much but and I just have it pointed out the door this is just a screen here so we'll just let it run for a while and see how well it works and then it has this uh, this duct right here that you can kind of point around and it looks like it just kicked on it started blowing it's kind of cold air still so you fill it with diesel fuel on the top uh, it hooks up to 12 volts so we can hook it up to solar panels or I've got a couple of those little battery uh, power generators uh, solar generators we could use uh, and I maybe I can make a little portable cart for this or something down the road but so I can start to feel the exhaust coming out still not warm air I'm gonna close this to try to direct the exhaust outside I don't know how hot this uh, tube's gonna get. I'm assuming it's gonna get pretty hot, so it would probably burn, start burning the countertop eventually. Okay, this looks like it's giving me some kind of an indicator of either the, the combustion or how well it's working. It looks like it just jumped up and I heard the fan kind of kick up a little higher. So the way they're routed out on the bottom, uh, probably could put it up on higher blocks. So the control panel has a bunch of different settings on it, most of which I do not understand, but I do know that it has an up and a down, and that controls the temperature, uh, or I guess heat output. So it actually slows the um, oil pump down, and it automatically lowers the fan speed, and you can hear everything kind of kind of quiet down. So at its lowest setting, it's not gonna be putting out much heat, but at its lowest setting, we're at about 60, 70 decibels, so it's pretty quiet. And then let's turn it up to the highest. It also comes with a remote that you can do that same thing with, and it'll tell you the temperature. It's in Celsius right now. I don't know how to change it. I gotta read through the manual. The manual is not extremely great. Um, so right now it's 11 Celsius, whatever that is. And with it on full speed, it's at about 75 decibels, so that's not bad. That's up oh, conversation level, maybe loud conversation level. The heat output on this, this is eight kilowatts, which is equivalent to about maybe 28 or 29,000 BTUs. This is the heater that I normally use in the shop here, and I don't know how many BTUs this is. I have a feeling it's probably 50,000, but 30 to 50,000. And so I think this would heat this shop pretty well, actually. And the nice thing about this is that you could do it either way. You could put the whole unit outside of a shop or outside of a tent or outside of a a sugar shack or a, sh or a shed or whatever. You can put the whole thing outside and insulate this. You can run like a four inch insulated flex from the unit into a wall. And so you can keep all the fuel and all the everything outside. The only disadvantage is the unit itself draws fresh air from the back and then heats it. So you'd be, you wouldn't get quite the heat output because you'd be heating cold air from outside before it blew into the shop. But it would care keep a fresh air supply in your shop, which would be nice. Or you could take the whole unit and mount it, say, uh, on a wall or a floor or right on the ground if you're in a tent or an ice shanty or a hunting lodge or something. And you can do kind of like what I did, except for you could drill. This is about a one inch uh, exhaust pipe and it's fairly flexible. So you could drill, you know, maybe a three inch hole and then stick your, your one inch through there and put some kind of metal plate on it to, you don't want to keep some space from combustibles. 
and, uh, and then just vent the uh, exhaust outside. Uh, so that'd be a nice way to go too. Then you keep all your controls in here and you can fill it, you know, keep your diesel fuel or whatever, just fill it up. I don't know how long it would run at full speed. So it looks like we actually have, this is just the time uh, that's on the main panel. And then this is the ambient temperature in the room. So we're up to about I don't know, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. Um, this gives the current uh, setting, heat setting, power setting. And this is how many volts that is battery, you know, we're input voltages right now. So we're just running off a car battery. Um, when I had it at full speed, it was maybe drawing it down to like 11.6 or something. Uh, this I think is elevation, that's what it seems to be. Picture of a mountain, 218 meters, I guess that's uh, where I'm at. So you can actually turn a timer on so you can set this to on and then it'll come up and let you set a, uh, a time. So you can set it for two, three hours. I think you can set it all the way up to 24 hours and it will uh, count down and then shut off when you hit that, uh, that time. So it has two different timers on here, I'm not sure why. And it looks like it has a lock code, so you can set a pin so that no one else can control it. But it does kick out some nice hot air, though. I have I've seen these uh, you know these YouTube videos all over the place, Chinese diesel heaters, and everybody's reviewing them and testing them out. So I, I just had to had to have one. Uh, I do think there's a lot of uses for this. So I have I don't have a specific purpose for this thing yet, but I have a lot of ideas. Uh, I'm going to be building a some kind of a sugar shack, whether it's temporary or more permanent this year. And so it'd be nice to have some heat out there. And I'm not going to be dragging electric heaters out there. And I don't have an extra wood stove to be running. Uh, so that's something that I could use it for. It'd be nice for greenhouses uh, to warm things up. It'd be great for, for hunting. It'd be great to throw it on a four-wheeler. You know, you've got some diesel fuel in it. You take it out. I have a feeling this thing will run for quite a long time on one tank of fuel. I'm thinking about ice fishing. You know, you could throw this on a snowmobile, a trailer, take this out to an ice shanty, and then set it outside on the ice and, and pipe this thing in there and, and keep yourself nice and warm. There's lots of uses for this. Um, and then, of course, vehicles. So I think that there is a way you can actually hook this right to a vehicle's diesel fuel system or fuel tank but I'm not 100% sure about that. And of course it'd be perfect for an adventure van or you know, like a, a, a little campers and things where you could set this thing up where it runs either underneath the, the unit or in a, in a compartment somewhere underneath a camper and you could have an exhaust vented out and then you could pipe this right into the uh, living space. So just a quick video today. I've been uh, anxious to show you guys this and I've been anxious to get this thing out here and test it out. So I've had a little bit of fun doing that today. What are your ideas? Uh, give me some ideas. Where can I put this? Where can I use it? And uh, th you'll be seeing this in some future projects, I'm sure. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. Love to hear what you think about these uh, these little heaters down below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description where you can check one out. They've got a bunch of different sizes and they are very cheap. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.